Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabati billah in a hadith narrated by Sahal ibn Sa'ad radiyallahu ta'ala an he said I saw Allah's apostle the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pointing with his index and middle fingers saying the time of my advent and the hour are like these two fingers. The great catastrophe will overwhelm everything. Ruahu Bukhari. Ahabat Billah, in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it reminds us that the hour is near. And why is that relevant for us? What's the importance of knowing that the hour is near? The importance of Habas Tifillah is it should help us in our actions. It should help us be fruitful and producing khair and staying away from evil. It should help us to be better worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it should be a source of guidance for us because we believe in the ghayb, we believe in the unseen world and that the hour is established as one of the pillars of Iman, of faith and the hour being established it's a time of great turmoil and catastrophe and disaster and it will be a calling into account for all of mankind. And just this pandemic that we experience and the many turmoils and tribulations that we experience. For example, look at our brothers and sisters in Yemen. Look at our brothers and sisters in Syria. Look at our brothers and sisters in so many places in the world. And in fact, just the state of mankind in general all the trials and tribulations and injustices that we endure and the disease and the war and the famine and those are just small indications and sometimes perhaps signs of the hour that is drawing near so this knowledge of the, of the unseen is to strengthen our Iman and to help us in our Amal. To strengthen our faith and help us in our deeds, that we should do more good deeds. We should be doing those things which help to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters is to prepare for the hour. Prepare for the end of this life. This life is so quick and flee, fleeting. How many people do you know who have died? People from your age group, people younger than you, people who didn't even make it out of their 20s and teens and died of sickness or violence or some other catastrophe or some other trial or test. So the mu'min takes these as ever, as signs or lessons to reflect upon, to ponder on, to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to better themselves, to better his, him or herself, and draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with ilm al-nafiyah, wa rizqan tayyiba, wa amalim mutaqabbilan, because with ilm and nafia, beneficial knowledge, you can fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more and practice better and be on fiqh and basira. And with amal salih righteous deeds, you can please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's based on that ilm and nafia. And that means it's makbul, it's accepted by Allah. That's why we say, 
العلم النافية والرزق الطيبة وعمل متقبل عمل متقبل means deed <coughs> that are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deeds that are accepted by Allah azza wa jal ورزق طيبة and righteous provisions These good provisions can help you make da'wah in Allah. These good provisions can help you seek knowledge. These good provisions can help you worship Allah better. These good provisions can help you give sadaqah lillah. It can help you change the life of others. <coughs> it can help you to have comfort in this life to do more good. It can help you to provide comfort for your own children and your own family. This is a great blessing from amongst the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases our risk from places we can never imagine. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us for our many, many sins and gives us those things in the dunya to help us leave the sin, to help us ibta'id an al ma'asi. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our good deeds and forgive our evil deeds and help us to draw nearer to Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.